Hello world, said a paralyzed patient, using what the technology's creator calls the first thought-guided tweet. This is thanks to an API or an embedded microchip that can be implanted into the brain. A paralyzed man has become the first person who can send a tweet to the world using only his direct thought. The feat was made possible by Philip O'Keefe, a person suffering from a motor neuron disease, by using a tiny embedded chip that picks up his brain signals. The message was described as the first tweet via Twitter, directed by direct thought, after O'Keefe said, Hello world, using the implanted chip inside his brain. Synchron, which works on brain APIs, announced the presence of Philip O'Keefe on Twitter on December 23rd. O'Keefe is one of the patients who has had the Stentrode application programming interface for the brain that the company invented, or in other words, a microchip is installed in his body that analyzes his brain signals and helps in executing orders. O'Keefe is also the first person to send a message to the world via social media directly through his mind, according to Synchron. When I first heard about this technology, I realized how much independence it could bring back to me, O'Keefe said. This system is amazing, it's like learning to ride a bike. It takes practice and practice, but once you get used to the movement it becomes natural and smooth. O'Keefe added, I'm just thinking about the point I want to click on my computer, and I can email, do banking, shop, and now send a message to the world on Twitter. O'Keefe used the account name of Thomas Oxley, CEO of Synchron, on Twitter. O'Keefe's goal was to share his experience of regaining his independence with the world, and to provide inspiration for the future. The last words in his statement were, I hope to pave the way for people to use Twitter with ideas. O'Keefe received the chip in April 2020 after suffering progressive paralysis as a result of a motor neuron disease that made him unable to participate in any work-related or other independent activities, and since then O'Keefe has used technology to contact his family and co-workers.